the Brazil of Rabi. Fiji is the Armenia of Chis. And Petrosian to Armenians is like Cerevi to Fijians. Petrosian was born in 1929 to very poor parents who died during World War II. Petrosian was so poor that he had to sweep the streets. He used his wool rations to buy chess books and studied very hard. And this young boy taught himself and got into the world championship against the Godzilla called Botvinnik. A Russian who had a huge team working for him bet Rosian against Botvinnik. It's like Fiji playing All Blacks or England. And guess what? But Rosian won the world championship. Suvevi has a similar story. He also had challenges. Suvevi was told he was too small to play rugby and was not given a chance to play. Imagine how it would feel like to be told you are not good enough because of something you just can't change. He was also fired from his job, just like Petrosian. Would you go home and cry and give up? But Cerevi, like Petrosian, never gave up. Despite everything, Cerevi did win a world championship and is considered the greatest rugby player ever. Today, Armenias remembers Petrosian as a hero and loved Chis because of his sacrifices and his achievements. Many Fijians love Sevens because of Cerevi. Nasuko, Fiji rugby captain, says that watching Cerevi as a small child made him want to play rugby. Renaka Vakalifu and tomorrow I will be talking about about how Armenia sports chess, something we can learn about from Armenia.